Hi everybody, Nam here, and today we're going to be talking about magic with Star Wars CCG. Okay, so the next trick I want to talk about related to Star Wars and my little Star Wars magic block is a trick that I called the Sabak Opener. Now, I had done another trick called the Chicago Archon, which was based on the Chicago Opener, and this is not that. So stick around and you'll kind of hear a little bit more about this one. Hi everybody, Nam here, and today we're going to be doing Magic with Star Wars CCG, also known as Star Wars Customizable Card Game. So this is a treat today because this is one of my favorite card games, not just from childhood, but even still now. I mentioned this a little bit in my last video, but I kind of intro each one of these with that little tidbit. I don't know why. I could probably have mentioned it once and not have it be a big deal as I proceeded, but... I felt the compulsion to kind of mention that this is still one of my favorite card games. This is probably my favorite collectible card game ever. Most other games, as much as I like them, I don't think they've rivaled like both my personal history, how much I actually enjoy the mechanics and the strategy of the game, the theming, and like everything else about this game. So even when they did the revamp, which by they, I mean Decipher, and the revamp, uh, I mean wars tcg or ccg so that was not as great in my personal opinion but i think i was just not invested in the theme as much anyway all right let's let's watch the trick and today i want to tell you a story about something that goes down at bespin cloud city casino so as we can imagine casinos probably have some muscle uh so here we've got a sergeant and a trooper um they happen to be lando's buddies but anyway so this is going to be a an adventure that lando has at the casino I was thinking of a way to quote unquote magically reveal that I had these guys standing at the casino, like standing guard. I would imagine that pretty much at most casinos, even in uh, real life, but like if there were alien casinos, there would probably be security, assuming that they are somewhat similar to what we would have here on world earth. Basically any place where you're gambling with money is probably going to be a place in which there's going to be some sort of security. And I just assume that they're Lando's buddies. I mean, Lando kind of, you know, runs and manages Cloud City and, you know, they kind of work there. So I don't know what the uh, impetus would be for them to kind of work under him without knowing him. That doesn't make any sense. So I was just like, let me just reach for something and just see if it works and makes sense. I decided to just kind of place them there so that I could just do the quick slide and you know the, the problem with things being at this angle is that you can kind of see the thickness of some of the things so it's like uh, it's not that it's not that magical but whatever I tried so we've got one two three four cards over here and on day one Lando happens to walk by and asks these guys hey has my special guest arrived yet and basically they say no not yet. So basically, Lando says, okay, that's fine. He'll come back and check tomorrow, the next day. Day two, Lando walks by and asks, hey, is my special guest here yet? And these guys respond, nope, not yet. Okay, great. So now Lando comes back, third day, and these guys, uh, he asks, hey, has my special guest arrived yet? No, but these guys happen to reply, we heard that the special guest will be arriving tomorrow. So Lando's excited, and he's like, okay, I'll come back and check tomorrow. So on the fourth day, he actually rushes past these guys, and he yells back, hey, thanks for letting me know, giving me the heads up that um, the special guest will be arriving. So that's basically uh, how we get to this situation. So these guys are going to help welcome the special guest, which happens to be none other than our Captain Han Solo, and he's seated at a table at the Cloud City Casino. And across from him is going to be none other than Lando. And basically what we've got here is the cards that they're going to be used to play their game. Showed you a stack of cards. They all appeared to be Lando. And now we're going to see the rest of the cards. And I put a Lando down on the table. And it may or may not appear as though that the rest of them are not Lando. It's Cloud City Sabak. So we've got one, two, three, four Sabak cards. And now what's going to happen is Lando's going to deal some cards, and Han gets a Sabak. 
And then Lando is going to retain these cards for his Sabak hand. And now they're going to reveal Sabak. So Han Solo happens to reveal that he has a Sabak. Lando happens to reveal that he has two Sabak. And then Captain Han Solo says, Hey, I thought that there were more cards. We're missing one. And Lando says, No, we're not missing one, because you can win Sabak if you have careful planning. And there we have it, and that is a story of a game of Sabak that went down at the Cloud City Casino between Lando and Han. Alright, so that is what I call the Sabak Opener. So originally I was inspired by just this roll of magic tricks that's done by this one particular magician named Paul Gordon. I discovered him through some other magic tricks that people were just doing one ofs, and then I ended up doing some research. I found this large like 45 minute video, I think, or it was more than a half an hour worth of magic that he did for one of his old magic book products called, I think, Gold Dust or something like that. And I found another performance of Paul Gordon's in which he's sitting down and performing magic for like a solid 20, 25 minutes. And in one of those videos, I had seen him do something that was kind of like this opener in which he would reveal four cards and they all appeared to be the exact same card. He would place them down and then all of a sudden they would all turn into four other cards like the four aces or something. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. So uh, that particular trick inspired me to finagle and kind of do the beginning of this trick. So if we think about the progression of this trick, it was Lando, and you would see that the stack of four cards is Lando, and they were all Lando. But then in the next phase, I had placed the Lando down on the table, and you could probably imagine that the, all of the other cards were probably Cloud City Sabak. And so I was basically showing off everything with Sabak, and at some point you're wondering like, Okay, so he just probably had one Lando the entire time and everything else was Sabak. And then at the end, I throw in the twist in there where it's like, wait, there was a careful planning in there. And anybody who recognizes these interrupts, like they're different interrupts, they're not the same. Like all the Cloud City Sabaks all look the same, but the careful planning is a completely different interrupt. So it's actually a different card. I don't know if there's an easy way to describe that to someone who is not familiar with Star Wars CCG, but I was actually really proud of myself for coming up with these particular twists. And as I was going through, one of the most complicated things for figuring out how to set this trick up is like the arrangement of cards that you have to have in what positions when you're going to like trigger them or basically reveal them to the audience, right? Or, or to the spectator. And so you can kind of see as I flowed through this trick, I'm like, okay, I'm going to reveal what's behind this card now. And then, okay, I'm going to now reveal what's behind this card. Okay, now I'm going to put a card down. Now I'm going to reveal what's in my hand. And now I'm going to reveal what's behind this other card. And so I thought that each one of these phases uh, built up to something pretty interesting. I tried to theme the trick so that as the cards would reveal their names, it would actually make sense. So in this case, Lando is just meeting up with Han. They're going to play a game of Sabak. And uh, Lando wins at the end, of course. And he's just like, well, you should have had better planning. You know that was uh, the intent behind the trick, besides the actual sleight of hand work. But I like this one because I had seen some tricks. I adapted maybe three or four different slights, including like one existing trick from someone else, and the other slights I had learned from like you know a multitude of different magicians and slash or free resources that exist online. But but for the most part, I like. This wasn't that slight heavy. I think it was just like a handful of slights and mostly just kind of presentation. And that's kind of what I was going for with this. So hopefully this was pretty good. I really enjoyed making this one, even though I did record a lot of takes of this, but I was like, I'm gonna get this one right because it deserves it. And you know, who doesn't like gamblers? Like everybody loves Han and Lando, right? So. That's all we've got for today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. You have a glorious day. Thanks for watching. 
I can talk English good. 